Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you have been enjoying the series so far. We'd like to thank you, of course, for all your support. It truly means a lot. You guys are definitely the best. Uh, that's it. Let's get it. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the secu- Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. Hmm. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Yeah, it seems sk sketchy, you know. I think There's something's, something's going on. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. How come Osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps? Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Okay. Getting a lot of people upset here. You can't treat us like animals. Oh. If I get sick, I'll sue you into the ground. Let us upstairs before we all catch the disease. Oh, we need somebody else here. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Okay. That should do it. Uh huh. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. rooms open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said nice. an hour ago. Nice. Nice. What's this? Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Okay, okay, I'm gone. Huh? Oh. Continuing That's good. <laughs> I like this thing. Very convenient. Uh, Gotta turn this... around. Okay. Good boy. That's it. I'm sure Sable off elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Hmm. I don't like that uh, camera movement right there. I thought someone was coming out from the <laughs> from my sight, but it's all good. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Oh, that's Norman Sable. And Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Hmm. <sighs> Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Nice place. Nice place. What's this? What is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a 
door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Okay, well, that's it. That, okay, that's all that I can do with this. What's hmm. this? Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Yeah. Something tells me that this is going to become eventually the Green Goblin. Or something like that. I mean, it's Norman Osborn. Some, uh, everybody knows by now that that's actually the Green Goblin. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, yeah. stable oh. presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so drum secret keypad behind the family portrait? Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Hmm. Okay. Um. What's this? Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Yeah, but no codes though. Work order for key padlock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Okay, which was? Oh, oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. Norman could be back any minute. Thought somebody was coming in. Keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Maybe. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Okay. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. What a hero. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Is this his room? This is a big room. This might be it. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Oh. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Oh, it was locked? Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Eh. Uh, not that much. Who was this? Come on. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Hmm. Okay, this is it. What? 
This can't be for Harry, can it? Hmm. The plot thickens. What's this? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. If you want to read it, you can pause it and take your time. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Okay. Just strike one. Where am I supposed to go? Bad idea. Bad idea. That's it. Through here? Nope, not good. Okay, okay, no problem. Tell me I made it. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Made it. Ooh. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Hmm. That's Green Goblin. Once again, if you ask me. I mean, that must be something important right now, but... Just want to check this real quick. Norman Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. Cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop up. What a waste of time. Devil's breath isn't a disease, it's an attempt at a cure. I almost can't believe it. Harry and Emily's medical records GR 27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Okay. A child's x-ray. But it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? Oh boy. There's nothing else here. What's this? Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Oh, I thought I could see inside. Okay. There's nothing else but the desk. Oh, I saw that already. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. 
Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <sighs> Kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. <sighs> They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Hmm. Okay, so... Bravo, bravo, bravo. Hmm. Is this it? Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp okay, building. So that's not the one. And this must be the C team. Hmm. Good old Alpha team. Commercial buildings. Okay, okay, I wow. see what I'm looking for. So many records facilities. Nope, that's just disabled patrol. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. This one. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that? I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Oh. There are a lot of guys here. That's good. That's good.
Can I head through here? I mean, I, I know I can, but... Ooh. Come on, buddy, keep going. Need to clear that balcony. You see these? That's it. Hey, <laughs> boss, we got her. No. Pete, you here? Turning off Lex now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. I saw the spider. Ah, the spider. Have to get that anti serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. But that being said, guys, we're going to end the video right here. Uh, if you liked the video, of course, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. I'm uploading videos almost every day of the week. The best way to see them first, of course, is with a subscription. And that is it. You guys are the best. Never change. And see you next time.